Welcome to this BR182 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the start-up, stopping and passenger door operations. Climb aboard to get started. The battery will power up the control desk and allow you to interact with it. This locomotive draws power from the overhead electrical supply via a contact arm mounted on the roof. For this to work, we'll need to set up and then raise the pantograph. It's important to use the correct light configuration when the train is operational. A lot of your... To get the locomotive up and running, set the master switch. Now activate the pantograph so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. The locomotive is now ready to be energised. This is controlled by the main circuit breaker. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operational. We now need to wait a moment and let the brake system charge. It'll take a minute or two. When stopped for longer periods of time, or when leaving the cab, a parking brake is engaged. We'll need to ensure that this is released in order to get moving. Use the master switch to determine the direction of travel. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, and then unlock the doors. Boarding is now complete, so set the doors to locked. The train brake is used for normal line operations. Due to the size and weight of this train, small amounts of traction should be used to overcome initial friction and prevent overpowering the electrical system. Now we're rolling, we can apply more power and focus can be diverted towards achieving the desired speed. There's a short distance between here and your next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent over speeding.
We're on final approach to this hour, and we'll soon need to start applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. unlock the doors to allow passenger boarding to commence. Good work! That concludes all the basics of this locomotive.